Hey there, buddy. Thought I'd read you a few stories from one of my favorite authors growing up was Shel Silverstein. And, and uh, yeah, just wanted to read a couple stories for you. So, here you go. Love you. The Dragon of Grindley Groom. See the dragon? Arr. I'm the dragon of Grindley Groom. I breathe fire as hot as the sun. When the night comes to fight, I just toast him on sight, like a hot crispy cinnamon bun. When I see a fair damsel go by, I just sigh a fair, fiery sigh, and she's baked like a tater, I think of her later, with a romantic tear in my eye. I'm the dragon of Grindley Groon, but my lunches aren't very much fun, for I like my damsels medium rare, and they always come out well done. Hmm. Yeah, that's a funny one. <laughs> Poor dragon. Ooh, hot dog. I have a hot dog for a pet, the only kind my folks will let me get. He does smell sort of bad, and yet, he absolutely never gets the sofa wet. We have a butcher for a vet, the strangest vet you ever met. Guess we're the weirdest family yet to have a hot dog for a pet. See that? Hot dog? For a pet. Silly. Let's see here. Always been. Oh, yeah, because you like pepper on your pizza. So, always sprinkling pepper. Always sprinkling pepper in your hair. Always sprinkling pepper in your hair. For then, if you are kidnapped by a wild Barbeza Zoop who sells you to a ragged hag who wants you for her soup. She'll pick you up and sniff you, and then she'll say, Achoo! And say, My tot, you're much too hot. I feel I fear you'll never do. And without a shout, she'll throw you out, and you'll run away from there. And soon you'll be safe at home, a sitting in your chair, if always, 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 always sprinkling pepper in your hair. So that is putting pepper in his hair. Silly guy. Let's do one or two more surprise. We like surprises, right? The surprise. <clears throat> My grandpa went to Myrtle Beach and sent us back a turtle each. And then he went to Kathmandu and mailed a real life cockatoo. From Rio an iguana came, a smelly goat arrived from Spain. Now he's in India, you see. My grandpa always thinks of me. In here. Oh no. What do you think's in the box? It's got four legs, a head. It's from India. <laughs> the man in the iron pale mask. He's the man in the iron pale mask. He can do the most difficult task. He can duel, he can joust. He can charge, he can chase, he can climb, he can rhyme, he can wrestle and race. He'll show you his courage, but he'll never sh his face. No matter how often you ask, he's the brave and the fearless, the usually tearless man in the iron pale mask. Let's see. Let's do one more. Okay, here we go. Quick trip. We've been caught by the quick digesting gink, and now we are dodging his teeth. And now we are resting his intestine, and now we're back on the street. So, I'll show you this. You can see it. That's the gink. Look at those teeth. And that is his belly, his feet, and the kids are back on the street. All right. Hope you enjoyed this, buddy. We'll see you later, okay? Love you. See ya. Have fun in Germany. Tschüss.